Alpha Houston on space to ground one for Don. Um, we're ready for your downlink. Okay, I'm going to hit play. <laughs> I'm Don Pettit. I was fortunate enough to be science officer on Expedition 6 to the International Space Station. And during this expedition, we had several kinds of science that we did. We did programmatic science, which is well-planned and well-thought-out science, comes up from the ground and is orchestrated from the ground. And then we have science of opportunity. And this is science that is done at the discretion of the scientists on board space station. And this is kind of the discovery science. And during our mission, we called our science of opportunity Saturday morning science. It's important on space station to take a break every once in a while. And uh, we like to, we like to eat, we like to drink tea and, and eat bread and honey. It's a Russian tradition. And so during our little tea breaks, we'll We'll have Russian tea and Russian black bread and Russian honey. And here is a short sequence that shows how you can drink your tea on orbit. You, you can suck it out of a bag with a straw, or you can squirt it out of the, the bag, and then you can take your chopsticks, and you can grab your tea with the chopsticks, and the surface tension wetting angle uh, forces will just suck the tea in between your chopsticks, and now you can eat your tea with chopsticks while you are on space station. And this may be one of the more practical applications of all this surface chemistry that I learned in college. And here you can see you're eating your tea with chopsticks. Uh, every once in a while a little droplet gets away, but you can grab it. And and there's nothing more delightful than, than being able to, to uh, drink a bag of tea uh, eat, while you eat it with your chopsticks. Now here we show opening a can of honey. And the cans of honey don't have any Velcro attachment, so it's hard to hold them down to the table. And again, you can use your, your surface chemistry to the rescue here, where you can put a little drop a water on the bottom of your can of honey, and then you stick it to the table, and there it is, voila. Now you can go ahead and you can, uh, uh, you don't need to worry about your can of honey floating off because it's just stuck there on the table. And again, this may be one of the, the more useful applications of all of this surface chemistry that I learned in college. And Houston Alpha, that's it for our Saturday morning science.